Hey guys, this is Rebecca, and we are doing a video on Saudi Arabia, and our first volcano is al Hara. al Hara is a large basaltic field, it's a volcanic field, in northwestern Saudi Arabia near the Jordanian border. So I'll pull back and show you how big it is. And you can see the craters down here. That is pretty big. Our next one is Harat al Burk. Harat al Burk is an ancient lava field located along Saudi Arabia's Red Sea coastline. And you can see it's pretty big as well. We'll go over here and zoom in on these. Our next one is Harat Araha. This is the northernmost of a series of quaternary volcanic fields paralleling the Red Sea coast of Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry, you guys, for a lot of these areas over here, there are no views. And moving on to Harat Ifnayan. Parat Ithnayan volcanic field contains scattered shield volcanoes and scoria cones. It merges with the much larger Harat Kebar volcanic field to the south. As you can see down here, we have a lot of scoria cones. Our next one is Harat Kaber. We're going to move back out a little bit. Now, Harat Kaber is Saudi Arabia's largest volcanic field. Covers an area of more than 14,000 kilometers north of Medina. A spectacular 100-kilometer-long north-south linear vent system contains felsic lava domes, tuff rings, the Jabar Oder Quater stratovolcano, as well as numerous small basaltic cones. At least seven post-Neolithic or less than 45,000-year-old lava flows are present, and the latter category is a prominent 55-kilometer-long Haber lava flow, as well as Jabal Kidar stratovolcano, the only stratovolcano in the Harats of western Saudi Arabia. An eruption was reported in early Mohammedan times during the 7th century CE. Lavas from Harat Kebar overlap older lavas of the Harat Kura to the west and merge with lavas from Harat Ithnian to the north. So let's back up and show you how huge this is. You can see it goes this way, 
in towards this way here. Our next one is Harat Kishib. Harat Kishib is a volcanic field, the 5,900 kilometer Harat Kishib volcanic field located east and of a north-south trending line of volcanic fields in central Saudi Arabia is comprised of basaltic scoria cones, tuff rings, and mars, and phonolithic lava domes and flows. Most of it is of Pliocene age. Holocene flows are restricted to three areas in the western half of the field. Jabal, Aslaj, Cone, and its associated lava flows contain abundant granite rocks, blocks from basement rocks and ultramafic nodules. Jabal Hill is a large scoria cone with a 300 mile wide, 300 I think it's meter wide, sorry, crater that was filled and overtopped by a lava lake. Among the several tuff rings in Mars is the 800 by 600 meter wide Awaba Mar to the west central portion of the field. The most recent products, including the scoria cones and lava flows of Jabal Aslaj and Jabal Hill, and the Jabal Shalman Lava Dome Lava Flow and Scoria Cone Complex are stratigraphically younger than a pluvial period dated about 6,500 years before present. So you can see this is Harat Kisab here. So this area here, all through here, is Harat Kisab. And it's kind of neat because they've marked it here on the map as well. I'm moving on to the next one, Harat Lunier. This is also a volcanic field. Harat Lunier volcanic field is a basaltic volcanic field in northwest Saudi Arabia, east of the Red Sea port of Umlaj. It contains about 50 volcanic cones that were constructed during the Precambrian crystalline rocks along a north-south axis. Harat Lunier is one of the smallest of the Holocene lava fields of Saudi Arabia, but individual flows lobes radiate long distances from the center of Harat, and the flows reach the Red Sea in two places. Lava flows are basaltic and basaltinic in the composition and the Holocene flows are alkali olivine basalts. One of the coast cones may have erupted around the 10th century CE earlier. A seismic swarm in May 2009 was interpreted to be consistent with the intrusion of an 8 kilometer long dike to shallow crustal levels. And our next one is Harat Rehat. Harat Rehat is a volcanic lava field in Saudi Arabia. In 1256 AD, 0 0.5 cubic kilometers of lava flow erupted from six aligned scoria cones and traveled 23 kilometers to within four kilometers of the holy city of Medina. This was its last eruption. There were earlier eruptions. It is the biggest lava field in Saudi Arabia, nearby is Al Waba crater. I'm moving on to the next one is Harat Urarid. And this is a volcanic field and it's located in northwest Saudi Arabia along the Bedouin pilgrim route to Syria. It contains young basaltic scoria and tuff cones and associated lava fields. The massive alkali olivine basaltic lava field reaches a height of 19,020 meters. I mean 1,920 meters, sorry. It extends about 125 kilometers in a northwest-southeast direction and is contiguous with the Harat Ar-Rahat 
volcanic field to the northwest, the catalog of active volcanoes of the world, Numen van Padang, 1963, indicated that an eruption in about 640 CE at Harat al warid may have been from either Hala al bidur or Hala la Ishkia, or both. Bedouin legends say that Hala al bidur erupted fire and stones, killing herdsmen and their cattle and sheep. And our next one is Jabal Yar. We're going to back out some. Jabal Yar is a volcanic field and the southernmost young volcanic field in Saudi Arabia it is a small olivine basaltic field along the Red Sea coast of the southwest tip of Saudi Arabia. It contains three groups of volcanoes, Kumatain, Dejaratain, Hara, and Ukwatain. Hot springs occur south of Dajaratan and between it and Ukwatain. A single historically documented eruption took place at the beginning of the 19th century. So this is the area that was given, but I'm more likely to state that it's more this way. If we can look over here, we can see that it's more in this area. So I've got my postmark is down this way, so it could be starting that way. Anyway, moving on to the next one, Harat Hutaima. Harat Hutaima is a volcanic field and it's a quaternary alkali basalt volcanic field that is rich in tuff cones and ultramathic xenoliths. Thornbear, 1990, found it. It lies northeast of the trend of the main lava fields of Saudi Arabia and is one of the smaller fields. Archon date of 1.8 plus or minus 0 0.05 was obtained from a lava flow cut by a tuff ring. Okay, guys, that was the last one. I appreciate you watching. Please give me a like. Please hit subscribe. That's how I grow my channel. And please share. And if you know people that are looking for information on volcanoes, of course, send them to the channel so they can do research and learn more about this beautiful big world. Thank you, guys. Much love and have a nice evening or day or night, wherever you are.